So Bitcoin is making some new highs here, but for some reason Terra Classic is still not moving. We're still not pumping too much, but we are above the 0.001 level here, which is still pretty good. But will Terra continue to stabilize? Will we go down or go up? Let's try and find out the answer to this question in this video. Okay. Let's go. So here we are on CoinMarketCap right now. The market cap here for Terminal Classic is basically $680 million. The volume here is at $160 million right now. We're 50% up here for the volume. So big stabilization here is happening here for Terra Luna Classic. The price, like I said, is at 0 0.0001 right now. So there's a chance that we could break down, but we're going to do some analysis pretty soon. Before that, now we have an update here saying uh terra luna classic still growing yes we are still growing so usdc still up over 450 percent so terra classic and terra classic usd are still riding high after pumping at the turn of july 2022 terra classic is up by 60 percent over the past month to a price of 0 0.0001 now we're below that but yeah while Terra Classic USD is up 470% over the past month to 0.05. So Terra Luna, uh, meanwhile, is down. So 25% in the past month and down 5% in the past 24 hours to $2. So yeah, the second Luna, the Luna 2, is basically still down. We're at $2, maybe even below $2. Let me just check that out. So. Terra Luna, and if we enter it, what's the price right now? Yeah, we're below $1.75, so it's not good. It's not good at all, guys. This is just not good. So if we continue, it says, however, many many investors have been swayed by the news of the new Luna Classic burn tax, which it passed the proposal, and we, and we will see 1.2% of each transaction kept back to burn Luna Classic. Many mistakenly hope that Terra Classic USD token regain its one dollar peg however both these series will struggle with the fact that developers have fled the terra classic network and there is a difficulty in getting proposals to implementation at present the classic and usdc are pumping on pure speculation it's a difficult investment unless you have money to gamble despite having the paid holders a record breaking 37 million in rewards i don't care about air this is ever grow uh basically yeah, this is this is super important so this is a massive gamble, guys. Like, Terra Classic is a massive gamble. Now, why is it a massive ga gamble? It's basically because, yeah, a lot of developers have left the platform. So, we have the Terra Rebel team, but we don't really know if they're going to even do a good job. And because we don't know, we're going to have a problem with that. It's just super risky. And even if they do do a good job, will new people come to Terminal Classic? That is the question. Let's go through some updates. Let's go through some news. Saying here, breaking, Luna Classic is going parabolic. It's not happening right now. We did get rejected. This all happened yesterday, basically. Yeah, we have some whales here shilling the coin, basically saying here that yeah, that's the best chance here to buy Luna Classic because it should be able to continue to go up to some new highs. So Luna Classic and USTC are fully ready to go parabolic. USTC back to $1. Is that a possibility? Hopefully yes. Hopefully yes. But it's going to be a long way to go. It's not something that's going to happen pretty soon. It's going to take a long time for us to go back to these big values so the biggest problem is that we are still in the bear market and because we're still in the bear market there's no chance the Luna classic can go back to its previous highs or even to like one dollar or something like that because basically people are just not ready to invest so see Luna classic update looks uh pretty good let's hope yeah it looks pretty interesting it looks pretty good 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 here we have cool coin features so people are using them on cool coin features here 52 percent so yeah, KuCoin is dominating. That's super interesting to see. UCC upcoming. Okay. Yeah, so people do believe the UCC so has a lot of potential. And I do believe it does. But it's going to, like I said, it's going to take some time for something like that to happen. If Luna is pumping, Luna Classic and USTC will pump very soon. Yeah, that's the whole point. If Luna Classic goes up, then also the stablecoin will go up with Luna Classic, which is super interesting and super cool. Let's start with the new show before the pump. Meme yeah, memes. We got memes here. here. Okay, if you continue here to this page right now, it says everything I acquired and built, I bet on Luna Classic and USTC. I'm paying for the future happiness of my family. That is why I'm motivated to help the community and the project. I care so much about my son. I tried so hard to make sure we all win. 
because that's the whole point. The whole point is winning here. Also, if you didn't know, Luna Classic a prop update. So 4080 has been executed, 4095 is in testing, and 3568 is in testing. So on-chain burning has now started from 3568. So basically that's it. So Coinin has executed 3568 3, off-chain. Meta Glory NFT and, and Deploy Starship will follow. Okay, so two of them will enable off chain burn. Luna Classic DAO is the top community Luna Classic burn. So if you didn't know, Luna, this Luna Classic DAO, which is super interesting, they have 30, 35,000 followers already, and they burned the most for now. So that's the community that burnt the most coins, which is super interesting, super awesome. Terror Rebels, a fantastic progress within the, the latest roadmap meeting here at the Terror Rebels. So validators ready, software update in final stages, and Starship onboarding progressing. So all systems nearly ready here. So fantastic progress within the latest roadmap meeting here. So there you go. This is what's been happening. I actually, I actually go here to Terror Rebels Twitter here to see if you have any new updates, but not too many big things happening. That should be it. It says a shout out to Terror Rebels members here working hard to help the classic community who aren't paid or make YouTube money, etc. Many have given up work and made sacrifices to help many work 18 hours plus. This is what's been happening. So do check it out for yourself to see what the Rebels have been doing for the last couple of days here. Now, we have this massive post here saying, So Luna Classic makes a big move. Was it backed by strong will activity? So that's the question here. Is Luna Classic being backed up by huge whales? It's hard to imagine Terra making a comeback after Luna and UST crash, but Terra Classic aims to do just that. Uh, Luna Classic latest price action suggests significant interest in the project, and the whales might also be looking to take part in action. So Luna Classic first major price pump occurred in the last week of June, so during which it rallied by more than 180%. The cryptocurrency has, has shed more than half of those gains, but the bulls made a major comeback in the last 24 hours of, of, of the 15th of July. As a result, its price jumped by more than 20% in just a few hours. So the classic rally in the last 24 hours comes amid outflows recorded by the money flow indicators. So meanwhile, our side is pushed above the 50% level, confirming healthy bullish momentum. This upside occurred shortly after it was revealed that one address purchased roughly 8.5 billion Luna Classic and then sent it to an address with over 2.6 trillion Luna Classic. So it says here, this wallet accumulated around 8.5 billion Luna Classic and dumped it all into the 2.6 trillion wallet that I hear belongs to Binance. After dumping that it has since started accumulating again and is currently holding over 700 million. Is this Binance loading up? Is Binance buying Terra Luna Classic? That is a question. If something like that is possible, if, if these guys are doing that, then that's going to be a massive move. Next bullish phase. So although it was not confirmed whether the receiving address belongs to Binance, the exchange CEO CZ confirmed a few days ago that the burn is necessary. This might point towards better times ahead of Luna Classic if its supply reduces significantly courtesy of a token burn. Luna Classic has other things going for it. For example, outflows from its supply held by whales bottom out at 43.57% on the 12th of June and increased to 43.78% by press time. This confirms that whales have been buying Luna Classic in the last three days, thus the bullish pressure built up. In fact, the volume also saw a significant increase over the last 24 hours of 15th of July. So Terra Classic developers have been hard at work to bring the network back to its former glory. The development activity metric registered as a strong uptick since 7th of July. This is a healthy sign not only for the network but also for Luna Classic price action. This is because evidence of healthy development encourages investors to buy more, especially if the underlying asset is heavily discounted. So Terra Classic is already doing a great job of rebuilding its reputation. However, it has a long way to go, but scheduled burns all along the way are accepted to support its recovery. And there you go. This is what's been happening here to Terra Classic in the background. So is Binance 
buying more and more Terra Luna. What is happening here? Can we continue to go up or are we going to get rejected here pretty soon? The biggest problem is, like I said, we've been waiting for some good news to happen. We did pump here yesterday all the way here to 0.0011, but as you can see, we got pretty much rejected. And ever since then, we started to stabilize and we're back at 0.001. So can we still survive? Can Terra Classic still make some pumps? All depends what's going to happen in the next couple of days. If we have some good reasons why we need to pump, if we have some good triggers like new exchange listings or exchanges implementing the burn, then yes, there's a chance here that Taylor Classic can continue to go up. But like I said in many of my videos, if Bitcoin goes down, if Bitcoin makes some new lows, it's going to be a massive problem here for Luna. Because if that happens, then pretty much the entire market will go down and Luna will go down with the market. That's the biggest problem. That's the biggest possibility that I see could happen here in the short term, like in the next couple of weeks. Basically, Bitcoin going down, making some new lows, and then Luna Classic following Bitcoin here, which is pretty much the normal thing here for all crypto to follow Bitcoin. So because that, I do believe that we are going to make some new lows. But in the meantime, the chance is that we could make some new highs because of the new things that have been happening. If the developers do finish uh, the burn mechanism anytime soon, basically we're going to see some pumps here happening to Terra Luna Classic. And if Binance is really buying Terra Luna Classic, then, then, then they basically believe that it should be able to go up because of the burn implementation. So we're going to see. I want to see what's going to happen here to Terra Luna Classic here pretty soon. Yeah, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.